Come on here. You've been busy. Oh, where are you? Hey? Oh, okay. Okay, how's that going? Oh, okay. Okay. Anyway, I'm just going to Gisborne tomorrow. Uh, yeah, and um, I'll be away till uh, about five, five days, four days. I'm on a 45 hectare block over there now. I'm head trust of it. I'm a head. Uh, I'm the main trustee of a block of land in uh, Port Avenue off the east, 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 east of R Rotoria. And um, that's Te Tumu Tumu, but I'm going to go along with them and, and see how it goes. But I'm working on, I'm working on the land itself. Yeah. And um, um, so far, it's, it's good. I've got a drone now, and, and, and I'm going to take pictures of the whole thing and all that. I'll do the same with other block as well. But if there was a block up there with you on it and Timu Timu, um, I'll check up to see if there's one. I'll do the same for you, and 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 pull the block. But um, at the moment, I'm I'm going to go after the Waitangi block and the uh, Titi block for you um, through through the barrister. So that's going all right. I I got a letter from the uh, from the um, the, the um, CIB. Uh, the other bits of the uh, disclosure, so it's looking good for Cook Street. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you. I'll tell you when I get close to it. It should be when I come back. When I come back, we'll wrap that up into the to, to, into the Waitangi Marae. And um, and I think I think they're on the ropes now with that bloody uh, Hillary thing. Uh, is is mixed up with the same as what I'm doing. And and it's it's all I got good videos out now of it. It's pretty you can't see them, but uh, it's it looks like we're getting a lot of support for 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 that. And when the case comes up, uh, well, I, I want to settle it out of court and just just go and once we get that Cook Street is all over. And um, so I'm I'll prepare that block down the East Cape, and um, it's mine now. I can do what I like with the damn thing. Um, it's just not far from the beach at Port Awanui, so I'll, I'll let you, I'll let you know how I get on with that one. But I'm getting I'm getting more ahead now of uh, of of um, the whole land issue, uh, and a lot of people are watching it. Even in Napa, we've been watching it as well. Um, so, uh, but I'll let you know when I come back. What's the latest, and then. And then we can we can sit down and look at it again. Okay. Cheers. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. That's King. I just uh, talked to the chief. Chief King is why I go to Gisborne. And he seems quite happy. His voice. So. I just want to let them know that um, we're on track with the Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court. What I say goes. What I say with him and Ngāpui Chiefs, that authority belongs to them. When I talk like this online and on videos, that authority comes from that Marae. You only need one chief for the whole lot and it's still the same deal. With the land, the Jesuits, uh, creating havoc in America and all over the world but I'm just saying to him he knows he's a military man to know what I'm doing is military this flag is military um, jurisdiction of Admiralty so I will fashion a piece of land down in um, Rotori on the coast and with the trusty old um, Drone. I had it flying today, but I don't like to fly too high in case you run away. And so it needs a bit more practice than just playing around with it. Uh, so I'm going down to the um, computer place and the guy's going to have a look at it to get the mobile phone going on. Anyway, that's that. That's <coughs> to do with the surveying the land and drawing it up to use site plans for roading and everything, houses and, and whatnot. Um, 
Kingy. So I'll do the same for Kingy up north with their lands and uh, it'll fall into place with the chiefs uh, not um, missing out on any part of what I do. They are very much part and parcel of the native title that's inside this flag. Um, and um, I want them to pick up on what I do because it takes more than one person to do this. But this is the main uh, part of um, administering the land in the right way, straight to Britain. So that's where I'm coming from. So I'm glad I got him because uh, he's busy with his treaty claims and um, but uh, they never see the end of it. Uh, so um, it doesn't take much to get a hui or a meeting going with him on the 28th of October 2016. This flag will be going up then or before to stay up on the top of the mast of the Admiralty ship, the British ship that's next to Waitangi Marae in the paddock on his land. Okay, so we got that established and I uh, thought I would go and sort out everything before I go on the mother bus tomorrow to Gisborne, drop in to see Moira in the Rotorua, have some lunch and a picnic. My friend, my good friend, Moira, she's a very nice lady. She's Russell from Russell up north. That's where she used to live up there and across in Kaitai, up around the Hokian Harbour. So she's got a lot of history of that area there. She wants to write about it, write a book on Hokianga Harbour um, and um, Bay of Islands, no doubt. And a story of where we're going to with all this British Brexit, Maui, uh, King William IV flag of a future direction. Okay? Uh, so I had um, uh, Kaya, my friend, and Glory on online today uh, about the uh, Maui Powerhouse Group shares. So you're able to go on to the website, uh, MauiPowerhouse.com website, and register. You'll see it there, the white space where you put your email, your name, and your phone. M most importantly, the mobile phone number because that connects with TagPay for the power notes. <coughs> Once we get going, the power notes will kick in on the mobile phone to credit as beneficiaries in the system. So all that's uh, are going to kick in as soon as we get the footing in the land. The land, we're going to, for the first time, use the land what we're supposed to do 182 years ago with the British. Okay, so John Key and his lot have had plenty on the land to do. It's our turn now. It's our turn. The indigenous people of the world wants to go on their land and do their own ancestral thing and join in trade and development. We haven't done anything on our land blocks. 30 blocks I'm a landowner in, shareholders. Uh, and one of the originals at the East Cape. And so I'm starting with one block and go through the whole 30 blocks once we get this flag and the power note up and running. Won't be stopping. Won't be stopping. Not after all the planning we've gone in over the years, over 20 years planning for this. So we are prepared to go. Kingy's prepared to go as the chief up north. Sounds very fit enough to take that job on at um, running the Marae and the King's Bench Court, Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. So there'll be a crash course on getting up to speed with that. It won't take me much to get that fired up. Okay, so those are some of the things and I've got to get my stuff ready to go down the coast and uh, fix my drone up, make sure it's on the computer, on the mobile phone, the smartphone, so that I can 
let it fry back because at the moment it is frying. It is frying. I'm, I've worked out how to make it fry, but I'm trying to get the fine tuning so that it doesn't. It's tending to fly off. I won't even go five inches off the ground because it's starting to move sideways and you've got to tune it up so that it hovers in the one place. And then the homing device will make it come back to that one spot in front of you. I'll, I'll go figure that out with this guy, this Indian guy. He's pretty good. And uh, do that a little later. So in the meantime, I just want to um, um, say... Um, We'll get back online when I get back to Auckland from Gisborne. We're going to a place called Port Awanui in the east of Ruatoria. The seas are rough. I just had a look at the forecast. I won't be taking my dive gear because it's too rough uh, and about four metre swells on a southerly so that, and southeast, and that's coming straight and crashing in. And I think the drone might get blown around the place the land bluff, but it might be best to do filming in the morning early because it blows up during the day. I had a complete look at the weather forecast. It's not looking too good for going in the water. Well, it's cold anyway. It's 12 degrees, between 12 and 16 degrees into the East Cape, um, Rotoria, and um, uh, swells up, up to 4 metre, and the tides are 1.5. That means it's not a real low tide. Uh, and uh, what else is there? Um, strong winds up to 35 to 45 kilometers an hour. So that's really fast wind swimming. Uh, especially when I want to go back and jump in the water. Uh, but anyway, we can put that off for another time. And um, i got great plans for there and um, East Cape uh, Lighthouse around that area and also a lot in point. Big projects to come yet in the sea. Okay, so my focus is on the sea, the land, and starting off business with this flag of 250 countries and the pound note. It's there, we've got a king, we've got a flag, we've got a pound note. What else do you want? A few natives and a few Pakis and Indians and Chinese. Doesn't matter. They're all in this share system right around the world. Okay, so that's all you have to do. Go to the website. You can buy a flag online, Flags New Zealand. Um, and it um, doesn't cost much. Or go in a Chinese shop. They got them five bucks for one of these ones. So plenty of those to go around. Um, just to, it's a brand name for everybody. So where the Maui comes into it is, is because it's a Tahitian indigenous Pacific brand name. It's the founding doctrines, doctrines of discovery of the Pacific, Mu Island. Uh, that's the island underneath, uh, in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and encompasses the islands around there and um, the edge of New Zealand um, that we're going straight into with the tidal turbines, right up to Samoa, Tonga, and across to Tahiti and Hawaii putting all these turbines right around the platform for the military uh, strategic points of uh, landing on the platforms and producing hydrogen power from seawater hydraulics and also um, for, for the fuel itself um, made from water okay so that's um, a big task to do but um, achievable Done all the research on that in the British Labcat, A2 British Labcat hydrogen powered plane that has no fuel yet to fill it and it's no use using anything else because it just don't work. It's the only way to do it. To capture that, we have that as resource, uh, the seawater as resource, and um, for business as, as uh, income from recovered property to defray costs of fraudulent people, especially the Jesuits now, running racket in America, uh, getting caught with Hillary Clinton and Obama using the abusing our flag. And that is going to kick in with this one and the new Brexit government. You'll see 
Turkey is, is up in arms again. They're going to have another crack at trying to take over Turkey. This is the people in, living there because Turkey is one of the first ones that stole all the memorials. Everybody that's, every country has been stealing all our artifacts, all our historic inheritance treasures are starting war amongst themselves now and Germany being one that's falling apart in itself in France. France is the Jesuits where it's all the rackets happening with the Jews and Israel and those countries are falling apart because inside their fraud and corruption that Moai has no place for in our system. Okay, so we have safe safety in numbers with the flag of a king. And that's the queen is where all the trouble is. The queen, the Pope, the Rothschilds, David E. Rothschild and Evelyn Rothschild, the chairman, Evelyn Evelyn Rothschild. And also the church, the Catholic Church, Rome, that that, that's, that's, these are the people I'm saying that are ruining the world and spoiling, and Moai is watching them do all this. And Moai, being truth, and God's truth will prevail in the end. Okay, that's all I want to say. Better get going, and have a nice evening and a good week.